So this video is to address uh, some issues that I was having with my Prusa Mini. When I first got the Mini, the hot end here was about 10 centimeters lower than it is now. And these three screws, these three grub screws, were not very tight. So I was having some pretty bad under extrusion and then it eventually led to jamming. And then that led to some uh, extruder issues. It was uh, chipping away at the, at the filament. And so when I would do a hot pull of the filament, it would look like this. And there would be about 20, 20 millimeters, 25 millimeters of soft plastic. And it did not come out very clean. So that led me to believe that there were some issues with the the hot end filament path. So what I ended up doing, I I kind of took everything apart. I took uh, I went into Prusa Chat, asked their opinion. They told me to loosen the three screws and to push the hot end as far as I could up into the heat sink. I tried that. It didn't really work that well. So what I did instead was I loosened these three screws here. I took the Bowden tube attachment off with this little wrench that you get. I took this part off and then I took this out. And then there's another little piece of um, PTF tu PTFE tube in there, like the kind that comes in the uh, spares kit. So there's, a, there's one in there. Inside the heat sink, I took that out completely. And then you, all that's left in there is a metal heat break. And so look down inside that heat break and make sure there's no plastic. You should only see the bare metal. And uh, so I took all of that out. And then I pushed my heater block as far as I could up into the heat sink. So you can only see maybe a couple of threads of the heat break. So I pushed it all the way up in there. And then I tightened these three grub screws with a 1.5 millimeter or the 1.5 uh, metric Allen wrench. So I tighten those three and I tighten them up pretty good. Um, and then I reinserted the PTFE tube, the short one. And then I tightened up this bottom fitting just until I felt resistance. And then I went about a quarter turn more. And then I tightened the, the top fitting up pretty snugly while holding the bottom one. And that solved my, my extruder issues. I've been having really good luck. After you do that, you do have to raise the Pinda probe up quite a bit from where it was. So mine was, was probably five millimeters too low after I raised it up. So I raised mine up quite a bit. It was five millimeters below my, my nozzle. So I raised that up, don't forget to do that. And then I, did, I redid the uh, calibration wizard and I've been getting really, really good prints uh, after I've done this. So maybe that will help help you guys that um, are having extrusion issues. And uh, maybe we can get this fixed. Thanks for watching.